Good morning, everybody. It's Brenda. How are you all doing today? I hope you are having a fine day. Um, I, today, am going to make tags and um, out of book pages. And these were inspired by uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. And what I have here is I have sort of some things already started so I could get a little bit ahead of the game. But um, the book pages I am using are a little bit over nine by a little, about six and a half. A six and a half by nine are the book pages I am using. And to make things go a little quicker and a little easier, the first thing I did was glue two of these book pages together with my Scotch Create glue. Okay. So then, um, after gluing them together, I attached them to some of Rachel's um, background papers. And <clears throat> these came from her shop. So I have a um, kit of these. And I went ahead and already attached these to the backs of my book page. So I've got my book pages, two glued together, and then I have these already attached. Oh wow, that one came out a little bit awkward, didn't it? Should have uh, <clears throat> got those, uh, but that's okay, I can cover that up. I should have got those a little <laughs> closer, or yeah, closer or further from the edge. That was a big edge there anyway okay so got that done and have allowed these to dry because I kind of figured if I hadn't allowed them to dry they wouldn't cut very easy so now what I'm going to do is cut my tags into tags or cut my book pages into tags I always have a little surprise under my cutting board um, oh, I wanted, before I start that, I wanted to tell you also, I grabbed some little stamps, and you'll see how we're going to use those, some little stamps. I grabbed a script stamp. I got my archival ink in black. I've got some, um, oh my gosh some of this <laughs> I can't remember what it is isn't that awful it's like some gauzy material oh my goodness I've got some strips of ticking cloth and for this uh, for what we do with this you can use anything ribbon strips of ticking cloth you can use anything I've got because I am working on or going to start working on my um, bunny botanical uh, journal. I've got some botanicals <laughs> and some bunnies and some birds in case I want birds. And I think that's it. So we are ready to cut. I am going to take these and cut them into three inches, I think. Three inches wide. Just checking to see. Yeah, that'll be okay. So yes, three inches, and I think that one might be a little bigger, but that's fine. So again, I'm going three inches. Very fun, quick way to make tags. Book page, already um, collaged background pages and um, cut them into tag shapes. Okay, 
and just coming out pretty. Loving them. And out of four, oh, I don't know if I told you I had four pages already. And out of the four pages, we have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. That is a pretty good stack. Okay, what do I want to do next? I think, yeah, I think it's going to be easier. Um, I didn't even tell you about this today. I have some cotton. This is a cotton sheet. Okay, it's like an ecru color. Um, so those... I mean, this is going to be laid out like so. And then I am not going to bother going over there. I hope these will fit and I hope it will iron out when I glue. But the thing is, I am going to start to glue each one of these onto my fabric. Oh some book page here. Let me move over this away. So Scotch Create Glue. And I'm going to glue these down. I may not glue all of them down because I know I won't be um, getting them all done. Okay, there's one. I may, I may not, because if I don't use them all in this project, I certainly can um, save some for Yeah, it goes this way. I certainly can save some for the next, a next project. I meant to do that too. I meant to wash my paws before I started this because they were already sticky from gluing the uh, book pages and the um, backs. Now I'm not too worried about <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not too worried about the um, the glue sticking to the fabric because these will be uh, sewn around. So I'm just getting some different colors going here. Now I put the two book pages together and I usually, most of the time, always do. It just gives it better, um, a better feel to it to me. You might have some book pages that have some real, um, <clears throat> some real thick book pages, but I kind of still put the two, um, Together, glue the two together when I'm doing a project like this. Pull this over some. Have some nice sunshine going on today. It's one, two, three, four. Five of them. I think we can get one, one more on the top without getting into too much trouble. <clears throat> I'm 
my um, middle son flew up from Florida. Well, actually, he, he lives here, but he had to go to Florida. He flew back last night. Okay, let's do... I don't think these will fit this way, so I'm going to go this way. Um, yeah, he had to go to Florida for some training for his job, so <clears throat> he got back about mm, 11.30 last night because, of course, if you know anything about airports, they um, flew him from Florida past North Carolina and on to New York <laughs> where he had a I don't know how long of a layover <clears throat> oh come on yeah, here we go that one's quite a bit like uh, yeah, we'll use this one. I'm trying to get some different colors going here. That was my objective for that. Okay. I'm going to use these and just stop doing that for now. And do some cutting out. Just set these aside. <clears throat> Should have some uh, fabric scissors for this. Get it in my hand and then I can cut better. These are kind of uh, gluey, you might say. Okay. I have some better scissors right next to me, so get these. <clears throat> Cut out real quick. Put this aside this aside and get a few more cut out here. I could cut that right off on the bottom. I might end up doing that. And I might just leave a little bit around these until I sew them and then I might cut. I might cut it more um, to the card after I sew them. Again, got to do something about this craft room. Oops, I almost pulled that one right out of whack there. It gets so muggy in here when I shut my door. I'm 
don't know why I'm turning those around. A couple more to go. A few more to go. <laughs> Trying to concentrate with these dull scissors. out of the way here. I probably could, well, no. I was going to say, I probably could have had this part done too, but I don't like doing the whole thing before I start the video. There's always, there always seems to be a, you know, pause part or a uh, fast forward on these craft videos, but I don't do that. I just sit and quietly watch the whole thing. But of course, those of you that do, that's just fine to fast forward. Goodness grace, can't cut straight. One more, guys. One more to go. And then I will cut them into tag shapes. As you can see, this is another, like, assembly line way of doing things. And, um, like I said, with using the collage papers already collaged and, um, working in a uh, setting like this, it is, oh, everything's sticking to me. It's easier to get things done in a little bit of a timely manner. Okay, so I think next I will line these up and grab a piece of something to stamp on. Because, oops, I want to make sure, let's see, this is the top. Make sure that you have your, um, Make sure you have them lying in the right position for the way you want them. I can do three at a time. Okay. So first I'm going to grab my script stamp and I have no idea which way this goes. Well, I'll just, um, I will just stamp a little, <laughs> and then even if I stamp, I don't know if I'm going to know how it, how it goes. So, let's see. Yep, I think that's right. Which really doesn't matter because I think it's, uh, in a foreign language. Oh, I always get stuff all over me. So let's do this. And just a little bit down here. could do this um, I'm doing this in black but you could also do it in another one color I meant it's that one
and we have this one. Let's see, I want this one goes this way and this way. So get go through and get all your stamping on. Two more. I want this to go this way. And this one can go basically either way. And of course, I should have, which would make it a lot better a um oops <laughs> almost stamped on the wrong side a uh piece of foam or something underneath would help the situation all right that is done get rid of this and i just need to wipe up again cheesecloth that's what <laughs> that's what I was trying to think of oh my goodness I got awful black all over me oh boy, I still need that okay I just don't want the black to come out on my fabric anywhere Okay. Okay, so next I want to cut my tags. Into tag shapes. in assembly lined fashion. <clears throat> Can't remember which one I was using. I think I was using this side. It'd be so much faster if I could just eyeball it. Some of you can just eyeball these and just um, cut those right away, but I do not have the ability to cut that straight. <laughs> so, I use my little cheater card all the time. Now, I won't be sewing these on camera, as you probably already know. I'm not set up to do that, so. Um, but I will. I can show you the, um, when they're all done and sewn, I will revisit them with you. One more to go, 
and then we can commence to decorating. Okay. One more of the step completed. So next, I think what I want to do is figure out the um, <clears throat> focal point on my cards. Get these all lined up here. And I know, of course, I want a bunny. This is pretty, this is a pretty wide one there. <clears throat> Maybe a pretty flower. That's kind of big, huh? Oh, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, this one's a little bit better save the big one, uh, the bigger one for a bunny. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, that's pretty. Couple flowers. Um, where's my bunnies? <clears throat> I buried them. Didn't I? What'd I do my bunnies? Okay, I know I had more bunnies. Okay, that's really weird. Really weird. Am I going crazy, guys? Or did I hide my bunnies on myself? I had bunches of them cut out. Goodness gracious, going crazy. Um, put him on a smaller one like that. I did want to use him. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why things disappear on me. Let's see, looking for a bird. Kind of pretty. I've got a feeling I need to cut out some more of my birds. Getting kind of low on the bird population. I'll use him. Oh, he fits too. Okay. Okay, so that is our... Do I want that big one there? Or do I want one a little bit less... <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm just going through these to see what I see all my I want all my options. Got a pink one. That one's kind of small. All right. I'll stick with these. Okay. 
So now I want to, I think I'll glue, <clears throat> I think I'll glue these down first. Uh, before we continue on. Try not to uh, tear into whatever I'm using here. or another flower. <laughs> I'm changing my mind in, in, in the midst of it. Only because it is um, botanical. Um, botanical bunnies and I mean it's bunnies bees and dandelions is what it is but I was just going to I wish I had a dandelion but I was just going to sit down a I mean I was just going to name it botanical instead Okay, I think I want to Well, maybe I won't have to. If I have him like well I'm thinking about maybe he needs something to <clears throat> something to put his feet on is what I was thinking about. Yeah, I like that better. At least he has, at least he doesn't have his feet up in midair, is what I'm trying to say. So, have that right about there. And then, I don't think you'll have a problem with the, um, you know, the, the white that's not cut away. I don't think you'll be able to see it very well in the, um, I think I want him more like that. And I don't think you'll be able to see the, the white as that much with the um, white background. But it's not really white either. It's like an ecru off-white color. Don't want that. 
there's no color there. Do I want another bunny? No. I love that color, but it's kind of... Um, kind of smaller than the others, like the rest of mine are. <sighs> that one's tiny. That one is the same size. That one is too. Goodness. <clears throat> don't really want that one either. Let's see how quick I can cut this one out. Don't seem to be too much cutting on this. Let's see how this one will look. I was hoping to use the ones already cut out, but... I really didn't, um, you know, check them over too well. I just threw them up there to use. But this won't take long. It's all leaves and a little flower. how my um, scissors get stuck. Because I don't have my cutting scissors here. That's pretty. layer. Okay, yeah, I like that one. So now that I've got my papers all glued to my table, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, I am going to do a little D and stick him, I think, right, right, let's see. Let's put him right here. Oh, that's cute. Now, do I want him anywhere else? Um, I kind of want him right here. Okay, that's good for the bees. Now we've got a butterfly here. Let's see, I'll put one right here. And 
one right. Hmm. I'll put one, one right here. Okay. And then I've got just a little flower. I thought I would put right here like so and maybe another butterfly right here and let's see what do I want right up here just another butterfly, I guess. There. There we go. We got our stamping done. Now, what we need to do is, and you can, um, I've got everything on camera here. Okay, now what was done was, and I don't know how good I'll be at this, but they took a piece of, I say they, Rachel took a piece of this stuff here. <laughs> And let's see, I'll try it on this one. See if I like it. Glued along the bottom here. And then just commenced to put it down in sort of a In sort of a fashion like that and then she said she would sew right across the the middle of it I guess so it does give this bunny something to stand on but I don't know and it probably could give this bunny something to sit on but I don't I'm not sure if I'll do it to all of them is what I'm getting at probably won't even give this bunny something to sit on because it looks like he's already sitting Oh well, yeah, could be sitting, sitting on it. It probably will look a whole lot different when I um, it'll probably get look different when I get the sewing going, sewing going. I suppose I could put one on this bunny too. And then the rest, I don't think I'm going to do that too. I'm going to um, leave it for now. But before I sew, I will um, if I'm going to add something, I will before I sew. But other than that, I think I'll just see what I want to put down there. I mean, it look, really looks good on the bunnies. You add something for them to step on. He's so cute. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's that. 
Now we need to make our holes and I'm going to use the uh, larger hole maker and go in a little bit more. Not that much. Was I in there? No, I wasn't. Okay. That should do it. These are so cute. Oops. Yeah, that's the right one. Just trying not to uh, put a hole through the butterfly. Yeah, I will definitely probably put something down. Um, down at the bottom. Just don't know what yet. I mean, it will be lace or something. Scissors. Just getting the... It doesn't cut too well with the fabric. Oop, that one's gone. And this one. Okay. So then what was done is they had, she had some, um, ticking to put through and then just came up with the on the other side And then left them like that because um, it would be sewn. It would be sewn when um, I get on the sewing machine. It will <clears throat> be connected. So they are really, whoops, I want to put my glue topper on. They are really adorable like this. I don't want to get them too long though because you don't really need it that long. Couple more, a few more. I think once the sewing gets done, everything will come together. to do. I'm going to try to have these flattened out somehow. I ripped them so they curled up on me. Okay guys, that is what we have. And um, 
once I get them sewn, I will probably do a um, <clears throat> zigzag stitch. I will do a zigzag stitch around and show you the outcome. Aren't they cute? I love them. Um, I think I have like ikru color on my machine and I'll probably just use that for the thread. So I hope you guys were inspired to make some of these. They're fun and adorable and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can't stand mess on my so yeah um and also i'll probably find something else to put on the bottom of of the flowered ones like a piece of lace or something maybe something like that oh i like that yeah something like that along the bottom so guys, have a wonderful rest of the day and uh, week. The weekend is almost here. So um, thank you for joining me today in crafting. And um, I hope you give these a try. I will um, wish you the uh, best of the weekend. Have fun. Stay safe, healthy, and blessed. And I will see you next time. Thank you all for the comments. Really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you uh, next time. Bye-bye, everybody.